Hey everybody! I haven't been live in forever, so, uh, oh, stupid YouTube. Go away, YouTube. <laughs> hey! I hadn't been live in forever, and I actually have the house to myself. Which, uh, is extra exciting today, because even though I'm not hating, uh, we do have family in town. And I'm glad they're in town, but there's just been more people in the house. And, uh, the kids have been here, it's spring break. <laughs> just why I'm glad we have family in town, because that helps keep the kids excited, but, um... There's been a lot of commotion. Been a lot going on at the house. <laughs> so I have uh, snuck upstairs to the yarn and fiber room, as you see. And I, uh, I don't know, people liked the last uh, blend up some fiber video. And I've also, I think I'm going to make another like little short, but probably less rambly, more professional video here momentarily. I've had people in our Facebook group and I don't know, people just, I find people. People find me. <laughs> Which is great. I have all these uh, fiber friends online. So I don't even know where these people came from. They're just friends of mine that have found me on the internet, have been asking me about um, like hand cards versus comb. Hey, Renee! <laughs> and uh, versus a drum carter. So I've been answering lots of questions lately on that. So I may uh, make a slightly more professional video here in a minute on uh, kind of the different uses between that. Hey, Kim! And um, so yeah. But anyhow, what we're doing today, and uh, excuse, like so we've got stuff all over the place. Let me uh, drag this super professional photo equipment, which is a selfie stick on a guitar stand over here. <laughs> you can see what I've got. Hi, Cynthia! Which is, we do, oh no, the camera's moving. <laughs> I'll squat, here we go. Um, don't do all that yoga for no reason. But we do a lot of uh, custom work for, oh here, I'll sit. Sitting is even lazier. <laughs> We do a lot of custom work for different uh, designers or shops and stores, and so the way that usually works is um, they will send us kind of what their dream yarn is, which that's kind of a term we use. Uh, hey, Adriana! <laughs> um, so the way that works, I don't know how it works for other people, but it's how it works here, is uh, they usually send me like a color card, and there's a bunch of those on Pinterest that'll have like the color breakdown on stuff, or sometimes it's just like a picture they took that's like, I like this flower. <laughs> and so they send me like color inspiration, and then usually we chat and there's discussion on, you know, what type of yarn they're looking for as far as gauge or consistency. And if it's mainly that they're wanting, like if it's for like mainly, hey Joanne, <laughs> like really smooth yarn, you know, if they're wanting like something really soft, more commercial, we usually do a dyed merino braid and then that looks like just sending it to, um, you know, I, I get all the fiber and uh, sometimes I dye it. Most of the time our uh, resident dye wizard, Christina, uh, will then dye it because, you know, she does a better job. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit that and she's got like all the colors, whereas I just have a few of the colors. So either me or Christina will dye the braids and then it gets spun, you know, single, double, Navajo, whatever, that way. But sometimes if people want something that's really more textural or exciting or with more depth in it, then I'm actually like blending stuff. So last night while I was not wanting to watch terrible, uh, you know, whatever it is that's on TV these days. I'm not really into all the like, I don't know, whatever these shows are where like the masked singer, I don't know. It all looks very Hunger Games to me. Like all these people with the crazy makeup and the talking heads. So I was avoiding that. So I was up here putting together, and it's kind of like a recipe for what I'm making. So I have like the color and I know what I'm going for. And then I get, oh, hold on. I have this little scale that is totally not what I should have, but it's what I've been using for years. It is a f biggest loser food scale, <laughs> but I I'm, let's be real, I'm not weighing my food, I'm weighing fiber. So, uh, what I know that my drum carter is how I'm gonna do this, so, come on, battery may be going out on me. Anyhow, so I turn that on, and it will eventually work here, hopefully, and what we're, oh, there it goes. I know that I usually pick like a base fiber, which is going to be this big ball of uh, fluffy white merino because I wanted this to be a soft yarn. And we are going to be, even though it's going to be textural, it's going to be, they wanted a, uh, like a Navajo ply. So I did want the base that there will be some other fibers in there to be like pretty chill. So, um, let's see, I'm going to do like a little under an ounce, maybe like 0.8 ounce of this. So I just put that there. And kind of say, oh, perfect. Look, looks like I do this all the time. 0.8 ounces, exactly. Man, I'm like a professional in everything. So that's my base. 
And then this is some uh, natural brown merino that is super duper soft. It's clean. I've washed it. Um, it's really soft and it's pretty natural chocolate brown color. So I know I want some of that in there. So that's going to go in there. And we may add a little bit more. I said I basically am just, you get good at eyeballing it. And then I'm watching the little numbers on the scale. This is some really pretty, but it's a slightly different color. Um, llama down from Heaven's Bales, and I did, I don't know, this taking a little bit of extra time because I'm having to go through and pull out the guard hairs, but I'm just kind of using it for a little bit of accent texture, so it hadn't been that big of a deal to, yeah, see that, it's really clean, so I've already cleaned it, so I just pulled out the little funny parts, so this is some llama down, and it's a darker brown, so see how I'm layering the textures and colors. This is like a light chocolate brown, this merino, and it's really soft. And then this llama down is more of a dark brown, and it's a shorter a shorter fiber length than the rest of this. So that's going to go in there. So I'll add, let's see, I want some more of that. So I'm going to go through. Like I said, I've already kind of pre, this has been washed, so I'm just kind of pulling the long guard hairs out to make sure that those don't go in there. This llama lives a very happy life at one of my favorite farms down the road from here. So his fur was in great shape. Okay, so there's some more llama. And then the other stuff I have, we wanted some gray in there. And I've been learning that gray has been actually, like, people keep wanting natural gray. And, like, it's not the easiest thing in the world to just go out and be like, all right, let's find that gray sheep. <laughs> at least for me here lately, gray seems to be harder to find. But I do have my, um, this beautiful, and it's already been cleaned, natural gray. It was a CVM wool that I got from, um... Feather Tail Fiber Arts, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, I can't believe I'm not using it for myself. The original plan, like, look at the crimp and look how long it is. It's so pretty. Um, like I said, this is from Feather Tail Fiber Arts. She is my, uh, one of my favorite fiber sources. So, uh, for those of you who are always asking after me for my fiber sources, that's one of them. So, go hit up Tori. And, I mean, she is a total fiber snob. She has a great YouTube channel, too. I mean, look at that. So, anyhow, I am, uh, this particular person I'm making this yarn for is one of my favorite people, so I will, oh, Tori is amazing, yeah, no, Renee, you're right, she's absolutely, Tori is a walking encyclopedia, and she has the hookup on all the good fiber, so that's where this gray is going to go in there, so I'm at 1.2, I'm shooting for like right around two ounces, because that's what my drum carter holds, I'm going to throw that in there, 1.5, so we need a little bit more of something, so, uh, we're going to go with a little bit more of this and throw a little bit more gray in there. Now we're at like 1.9. And see, if I was smart, oh, Renee, and she's also very sweet. If I was smart and if you were buying this yourself, I would buy a scale with a bigger thing. But since I'm cheap and I have this scale, I uh, just keep using this one. <laughs> and so, as you see, I like to think that the balancing it all on the small container is the, um, like, like part of the challenge of my life or something. So, uh, if you're buying one, I would say that, or you could just be smart and get, like, a bowl and then hit tear and you'd have, like, a nice bowl. But sometimes I just keep doing things the stupid way. So, uh, anyhow, that's, that's what I'm doing. Maybe one day I'll break down and put a bowl on there. But for right now, it holds two ounces. So, this is kind of... And then I go in and I get kind of my, what I think of as like really lightweight accent fibers for depth and texture. This is a carbonized bamboo, which is, uh, don't ask me to explain the science of that to you, but it is a bamboo spinning fiber. It's crazy soft. It's really matte and it's um, been carbonized, which once again, don't ask me to explain that to you, but it looks like charcoal. <laughs> so I love this because it gives a... Uh, one, the color I'm after from the color card that the person sent me. So we're going to throw that in there. And it weighs like next to nothing. So I don't usually do this on the scale. And I actually, most of the time, this light accent stuff, I add in at the drum carter. So well, I'm just going to put that there for this. And then this is silk noil. I'm probably not saying that right. But it's like the little funny ends of the silk. And it's really short and lumpy bumpy. And uh, I'm not going to put too much in there. Because like I said, we are wanting this to be a somewhat well-behaved yarn. But there's that. And then this is... And there's all these different funny names for all this. Like, it is technically nylon. But it's like... 
I refer to it as Sparkle because it's easier to just call it all Sparkle. This one is called Star Bright, and it is not like the Fire Stars, like the confetti looking stuff. And then there's no, that's Angelina. Angelina is like the confetti looking stuff. And then Fire Stars kind of halfway in between, or uh, I can't even remember. There's Star, yeah, Fire Stars kind of in between. And then this is the Star Bright. It's actually. It's got a little bit of shine to it. I like it just because it's white and it spreads out really good in the drum carter and it adds a uh, lot of depth to whatever it is you're doing. I believe, look up Spotted Circus. I'm not sure exactly where I got this from. Spotted Circus, I think on Etsy might have it. But just search um, Star Bright and I'm sure you can find it on Etsy or Fibercrafty. But that's this. So, this is my pile of, uh, of fibers. I got my base fiber and all the other fibers. This is about two ounces, and so I'd, I'd go through, and um, like I said, I've taken more time doing this because I was talking to you, but the general idea is that when I have a bulk order to do, that I go through with my little scale, and I usually set up the iPad on Netflix or a podcast or something to uh, distract myself so that... Uh, because it, it can get a little monotonous. I know, like, poor me, it's such a horrible job. <laughs> but I'll sit here and I'll calculate out, like, you know, if I need however many four-ounce skeins, I know that each skein is going to be two bats through my two-ounce drum carter. So um, then I have to make the appropriate amount of these little piles, hold on, of those little piles for each... Um, for, you know, each time. And then that way I have, like, an assembly line. So I've, like, made all my piles, and then I run all my piles through the drum carter, and I end up with bats, which hold still. Hold on. We will turn this around. Excuse my vacuum cleaner. And I started on this last night. And, uh, so this is how it turned out. Isn't it so pretty? And like I said, I'm not, uh, selling these. These are not for sale. The, oh, I totally forgot an ingredient. Into this pile, I also have... I just noticed it here, and so I'll, I'll throw, not too many, because like I said, we're trying to keep it well behaved, but this is some brown dyed mohair. Thank you! <laughs> I think it's beautiful too. So yeah, this was in there too, so we'll throw that in the pile. <laughs> but um, once I make all of those, then I have my bats, and then those are going to get spun by either myself or one of our spinners for the uh, contract we're working on for this client. Thank you! I'm glad... Uh, I do use my, uh, my little brother is downstairs, needs to be relocated, and by little brother, if you're watching this later, we mean the brother's drum carter. So let's, uh, here, I have a swivel chair here. <laughs> so, um, let's see, this is the big one, and it's a brother drum carter. They have, this is not their fanciest model, they have, uh, some motorized ones or whatever, but, um, this is my brother drum carter, it's my main drum carter. And this is the big one. It's got like kind of the finer, smoother teeth. So I, and you can get them with different types of teeth. That's just what I asked for on that one. Um, so that one's good for like really blending things together smoothly. My baby brother is the, what the smaller, it's a one ounce size of this is downstairs. And that one I use cause it's got the longer teeth for, um, either if I want like a real textured art bat, smaller art bat, or I honestly use that one a lot now since I've gotten this one for if I have a fleece that I've, uh, maybe a little rougher that I've washed and cleaned it, but I want to, you know, get it, you know, where it's easier to spin from. I kind of use that as my like grunt work <laughs> blender or like art bat blender. Whereas this one, you know, I try to take good care of for my smoother bats that we either sell or that, like I said, either myself or one of our spinners is uh, spinning into yarn for people. So um, I highly recommend Brother Drum Carters. I'm not sure exactly what this model is called. Probably their most standard one, like normal sized one. But they're wonderful and I really like them. I have a video on my channel on my love of their baby brother drum carter, which was my first, and uh, they are definitely that I've seen the most well, they are the most affordable, and they have free shipping in the U.S. like Spinlution does, and they're also like a family-owned company. Um, so I, like I said, my Spinlution wheels, I love that company, obviously, and uh, I really, I really like brother drum carter too. So I'm sure the other uh, carters are great, but uh, I like those because they're affordable and they're in the States and uh, I, I absolutely love them. So I have nothing bad to say about them. But anyhow, should probably start blending the art bat and uh, I got to go eat something. I'm doing good, Gail. How are you? <laughs> 
uh, like I said, I'm enjoying uh, having the house to myself for a little bit. It's been, oh, and look, it's not, you can see sunshine coming in. It's not pouring down rain, but uh, I, I missed all you folks on the YouTube, so uh, to come say hi. But I do think I'm going to try to make, and like I said, I'll try to make it more like professional with <laughs> a video here shortly, either today or tomorrow on kind of if you were looking to buy something, either a drum card or the hand cards or the combs. So that will either happen later today or tomorrow. So stay tuned. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as always, like we do have, if you want any information, I'll, I'll click links below on the, the drum carter. I do have some new video series on here on uh, if you are interested in starting a small, like a uh, craft business from home situation, some tips. And uh, we have an email series that uh, I put together from a sponsor of ours, a friend of mine, that's from like me and her, and it's a bunch of good free stuff. So uh, I'll put that link in there too, because I keep getting asked a lot of questions from people that are wanting to start like fiber businesses or other businesses. So that'll be there. I'll put the drum carter link, and I hope everybody's having a good day. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs> I gotta go eat something. I never like to eat when, like, anybody's around because I have to clean up all their messes. So when people aren't around, like all other moms, I'm like, nobody's here. I'm gonna go eat all the food. <laughs> so I'm gonna go eat all the food now. So uh, have a good one.